How do we live? We wake up and thank God. The residents of Kleppenbeck village have already forgotten what peace and quiet mean. Every day there is shelling near their village. The Russian army is firing day and night, locals say. Explosions are terrible. The field is on fire, houses are burning. The dam was targeted. It's in that direction. But thank God they did not hit. Aircraft and rockets, they fired with everything they could. People don't go to the basements because the basements are very dangerous for us. This village is one of the picturesque places in the Donetsk region. Before the war, people came here to admire the landscape park. It is impossible to get here now. The road is destroyed by shelling. Medicine and food are delivered to the local store. Mostly volunteers come. Here are shrapnel holes. The first, the second, the third. Everything was showed here. Now people there only count the arrivals of mines. The contact line is not far from Toresk, the villages of Klepanbek, Katerinovka, Rostivka. Almost half a thousand people live in the village. Some of them left the village due to the shelling. But most are still here. People don't want to leave their homes. There is no water, no gas, no electricity. The last time there was no electricity for almost five days. We live here only at the expense of vegetable gardens. We have our own berries. We believe in our Ukrainian armed forces and try to help them. My family helps for sure. Volunteers bring basic products to the village – cereals, pasta, canned food, flour, salt. They deliver several hundred sets so that all families receive. Three of us are from Mariupol – me, Denise and Andrei. Previously we had business in Mariupol, but since our business has remained there so far, we decided to help people as long as possible. The problem of these villages is that there is practically no logistics, the shops are closed. The goods are not delivered here, even if there is finance. Locals can't spend them anywhere. The farms grow wheat, barley, sunflower, corn. Because of the war, it is dangerous to cultivate the fields, farmers say. The fields are burning. A lot of hectares have already burned down. Shelling is going on every day. Two days ago, this field, five hectares of wheat, was burned. It's hard under fire, but we are trying to survive, and God bless that we can harvest our grain. Last year, agrarians say farmers were harvesting up to 10 tons of wheat per hectare. This year they won't be able to harvest even half of last year's crop. Reported by Marina Stepanenko, Nadia Sukharukova, Borisia Kovenko, UATV News.